good morning. Uh, this is uh, Barista Antonio. Uh, today uh, I'm in the morning, so I just want to go uh, with you through uh, what I was going in the morning shift first thing when I enter. So I'll put on my lights. What people want you to believe, don't ever turn back on your dreams. Make sure that uh, all the lights are on. Close your eyes, listen. The sound is so clear. So, we'll uh, our chair for our takeaways is over here on the counter. Let's sit over here. Sweet much in the morning. Nice flowers are always on the counter. Sugar is always on the counter. Do the refill. White sugar, brown sugar, and uh, uh, sweet and low. I'll do some refill. Not above the storm, but how we dance with the rain. Now, here the roll is a socket, so I'll put the light on. Ah, for the heater. First thing in the morning when you come in, uh, you need to put on the machine on so that uh, it can uh, heat in the morning. We have an uh, opening uh, the uh, This is a uh, Sineso uh, MVP. It's a uh, powerful hydraulic, hydraulic machine. So these are the first things that uh, you do in the morning uh, in the morning uh, setting up your station. Turn on the grinder. Check if there's any coffee bean it just left in. No coffee's uh, inside. Uh, all my cups are set, so they'll be actually uh, pre-warming. Then uh, from here. Uh, I will be filling up now the, uh, the coffee beans uh, from here. I have a bunch of uh, coffee beans here, so today I'm doing the Brazil for the white based coffee, and uh, I'll be doing Colombia for espresso and uh, espresso and Americanos, black based coffees today. So we'll refill our hope. Colombia, so we do what is called FIFO, first in, first out. So this is what we made yesterday, same dates. So the 
first grinder. Uh, here I always use the Colombia. Not pretty much busy. So always make sure that uh, when you are filling up your hopper, uh, it is actually uh, full because we are looking at the velocity uh, of the coffee beans doing the calibration. And as you can hear, also my machine is uh, heating up. So my hopper is full. Let's see if I'm able to see. And my second hopper, I'll fill it with the Brazilian coffee for white base. As you can able to see, you cannot see the water filters over here. So the water filters were soaked uh, yesterday at night uh, with the kafiza, we sanitized them. So I need to do a thorough wash, washing them clean, then able to come and fix them back over here, then we'll able to sterilize our machine. So that's what we're doing next. Stay tuned. Uh, so over here you can see the uh, the water filters. Uh, they were soaked uh, yesterday at night uh, with Kafiza, so we sterilized them. So I'll give them a, a thorough wash, then we're gonna fix them in our, uh, in our machine. So this is actually what you're going to do. Uh, next. So I will have uh, a brush uh, over here and uh, my scorching uh, brush. Yeah. So what I do, I'll have a running water, a uh, hot water. This one. And uh, when you are soaking them at night, you always put them standing. Uh, and the, uh, the chemical actually is always uh, half with water. They should not touch the rubber because this chemical will corrode the rubber. So that's why you put them like this. So I'll remove them one by one. Not above the storm, but how you dance with the rain. Don't beat yourself up, strive through your pain. Keep moving forward, don't be afraid of who you are. Anything is possible, so shine like a star. Drink them to warm water. So, first, what we do? Uh, scrub them inside. As you can able to see. You can see that uh, this one is much more uh, coffee uh, the engraved inside, but now you can see it is uh, coming out. So you need to. So this 
are the things that sometimes always make our coffee to be uh, not tasting actually good when our water filters they are not actually wash, well washed like a burnt coffee uh, something like that one bad smell so sometimes uh, it's because of the water filters they are not actually nicely clean if I'm able to see this one is uh, glittering so this one not yet done so you can see the difference so if you use this one in the morning without washing hopefully not good so what makes coffee good is not just a matter of latte art or nice coffee beans from different regions but uh, things that makes coffee good are small 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 things that I want to show you today that sometimes we don't know Can you please share this video if you like it informative, especially for the upcoming baristos? So this one uh, for scrubbing. Huh? very clean so next from here uh, what we'll do uh, we'll go and fix them in our group head uh, over there in the machine and then after fix them in our group head of, uh, at the machine uh, also we'll uh, rinse the steaming jets uh, with the hot water and uh, then uh, we will go and uh, check our machines, uh, the micros, if everything is okay, then uh, we will start our calibration. So we are going to fix our water filter, I already washed them nicely in our group heads and also check also the temperature of the machine. Uh, if Actually, it's now uh, okay, and uh, the boilers are now the water has already boiled, and uh, uh, we have tested if uh, we are ready to work. check my temperatures so the machine is okay my temperature now is reading at uh, 94 degrees uh, uh, celsius so it is already okay so if i want to test if it's okay i will uh, press the the water tank uh, over there I also test, test my steaming one, it's good to check if everything is okay. So the machine has picked up, check also the other one. The next thing that uh, we are going to do, uh, we will be able to sanitize. Uh, we are going to sanitize the, the, the steaming ones because these steaming ones they are also washed with the capizza, so we will be able to rinse them nicely so that we can remove all the chemicals that uh, we have used to wash the machine. So let's check how we do it. Uh, these four jugs here is what that actually we use to uh, steam and fold the milk uh, when we are making our coke and the latte art. So these are the ones that I'm going to use to wash the run, uh, the steaming one. And again, also by doing so, I'll be also be rinsing uh, the uh, 
the pictures actually. So to remove yesterday's maybe if it was not rinsed nicely, maybe the meal, uh, things like that one. So this is how I do it. So they have uh, water. So all of them have uh, actually water. Place your steaming one uh, inside. Place your steaming one inside. You also place your steaming one inside on this. And also like that. So then we'll actually uh, release and uh, open our steaming one for the pressure uh, to come in. So uh, by doing so, uh, what I'm doing here, uh, any chemical that uh, actually remain or milk that remain uh, in the steaming one, they are being sucked out uh, through the, uh, with the water, when the water is steaming and washing, opening the holes. So this water, so we I can also rinse my uh, uh, my small sink over here because this is where we pour milk. So because of the corroded milk, sometimes in the pipes they collode. So I'll pour this one uh, to open up. So maybe if there is a milk that uh, we were using yesterday and uh, they are corroded uh, within the, the pipes, so the hot water actually helps to burn the fast out and now the pipes they can able to uh, have a nice flow of water or any milk uh, through the drain. So we will do it uh, once more, uh, the second circle, same, I'll fill my pictures with water, then uh, do the same, same uh, circle of what I've done. Uh, the second round, my pictures are full uh, with water, we we'll do the second uh, uh, treatment again. Uh, the next thing also, our group heads, these ones, they are always actually washed with the, the kafiza, uh, that's the chemical again. So what we need to do, we need actually to, to rinse them together with the water filter uh, over here. Uh, and over here also we need to rinse them. So what you just do, you'll uh, just extract as if you extract, you just press the, uh, the group heads, then the water starts releasing over here and at the same time I will release uh, some some air from the steaming one uh, just to remove any extra chemicals that may able to remain uh, in the steaming one. So first of all I will rinse the group head. Uh, this is how I rinse it. I just let the flow of water uh, to flow. So by doing so 
I'll be rinsing the blue pens and at the same time I'll be checking my, my water flow uh, from the machine. Then also I'll be releasing a little bit of pressure from the steaming ones. Just to check if my steaming ones they are in proper working condition. We have a full pressure, so it means that uh, our machine uh, is okay. Now we can put it off back. So that's how we, we rinse our grouping hair. Uh, this is just a preliminary step uh, in our washing, but we have done a thorough washing. Uh, and not thorough washing actually, it was washed yesterday. Uh, sanitization of the machine before using it in the morning. So uh, what we are going to do next, uh, much, much, much uh, in the subsequent uh, topic, is how to calibrate uh, the machine. So today was just uh, opening duties. So before I forget something important that uh, we want to do, I'll be able to show you also uh, what you need to do in the morning when you come. I need to check your systems if they are okay. This is what you're going to do. Hey, so uh, we are here. So this is our cash uh, point of sale where we have our, our micros. So I need also to set this area. So we have our coffee beans here. These coffee beans, we sell them. So they need to be actually on the display. So we have uh, our menu uh, over here, there's one written in English and uh, there's one written in Arabic. So what I'll do, uh, I'll set them uh, in front of the, uh, of the counter, this is what the guest is to order. So I'll put them over here. So I'll take them and put them over here. This is actually exactly what we do. Then uh, these coffee beans, uh, we do sell. So I'll put them on the display uh, because the guests they always come to order from this point. So if you have any displays, uh, this is how we do uh, Then you need to check if the micros is in uh, good working condition yeah, in the morning, like right now it is on. Uh, I'll check my drawer. The drawer is opening. Uh, it's opening. This is my float uh, for for morning. Close it back. I just check the system. It is okay. Uh, it is working. Uh, check. So it's okay. It's working. It's very very important. I'm able to check that one. It's okay. It's working. Uh, another thing also you can able to check uh, this one. Our uh, laptop. Yeah? So we have an application and a copy application so I guess they always order with it uh, copy so we make sure it is on or maybe in your coffee shops if you have them like the Talabat so we make sure that uh, they are on uh, in the meantime also we have our PDQs or we call them uh, the, we call them the PDQs actually so make sure they are on and if they are fully charged so I'll, I'll uh, put mine on then I'll see if it is fully charged so my laptop is on so I'll check that one uh, so my PDQ so you can able to see it is on it, it is not fully charged I'll also check my printer uh, I'll also check uh, the roll, it's enough, so still enough for the day. Then uh, since it's not fully charged, I'll put in a charger. Let's make sure that I'm putting the charger. So, uh, my laptop is on. It is not used for the application, I will open the application also. In the meantime, also I'll be checking my printer. Uh, if 
if it has uh, actually a roll. It has enough roll to carry me uh, through the day. So these are the small, small things that uh, you need to check. So when this one is opening, we also have a fridge down here. So I'll be checking the expiries. Uh, checking the expiries for our milk. If they are okay, so today is the uh, day. Seven. So the production days are still okay. We'll check the dates also. My lemon uh, was done yesterday, so it's very fresh. We, we do it uh, yesterday at night, uh, freshly squeezed, so still fresh. Check the dates also. So uh, well, so these uh, are small, uh, pretty things that. Uh, uh, we need to do uh, when uh, we are in an opening shift. So right now, I need to get back to work and able to do my uh, coffee calibration. So our next topic uh, will be how to calibrate the Sineso uh, machine to uh, actually have uh, a nice and uh, perfect, perfect condition video. Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, uh, and share.